21 DPP lawmakers have split with their party to propose changes to the controversial five-day work week law. The draft amendments, which would standardize calculations of overtime pay and raise the cap on overtime hours, were met with approval from business groups. But labor representatives railed against the move, calling it a ridiculous about face that comes just months after the ruling party overhauled the nation's working standards. The group of DPP lawmakers who are pushing to amend the five day work week system say that the rules as they are written make it hard for companies to find labor and for employees to work the overtime hours they want. Safeguarding the rights of workers has happened in law but has not happened in practice. We think there needs to be a more realistic way of calculating overtime pay so that both employers and workers can benefit. The DPP lawmakers argued that overtime pay on discretionary rest days should be calculated on actual hours worked rather than on the current interval basis with progressively higher rates. They also called for the cap on overtime hours to be loosened in order to give both sides flexibility in scheduling work. Employers hailed the changes, but labor groups signaled their opposition. I was very happy to hear this news because for nearly half a year we've been telling the government, the legislature, the cabinet and President Tsai that we would like to head towards amending the law. This approach where your head is going one way and your feet the other is just making people feel that this ruling party is a party without core values. I hope that President Tsai, who is also DPP chairwoman, will be able to rein in her party's lawmakers. The long-running controversy over the five-day workweek law seems set to drag on after lawmakers from Tsai's own camp split from party leadership in what could become a thorn in the side of the administration.